welcome back to my channel. So I'm back in the Bay Area and so for our first stop we're going to be exploring Napa Valley. I haven't been to Napa since 2017 so I'm clearly overdue but if you're new to my channel, hi welcome. I post content about what's typically like to navigate life and dating in Portland but I did used to live in San Francisco for four years so I'm back. I know y'all miss this content. So without further ado, let's go ahead and explore Napa Valley. my mukbang video from 2019. We are going to be exploring it today. So I'm so excited because I haven't seen her in so long. So ah. this is so fun. So our first stop of the day is Migration Winery. I've never been here before, but this is one of Chelsea's favorite place. I am with her in this video. We are gonna go in and do some wine tasting and start off our day. It's like 10 a.m. right now. So we're gonna have wine first thing in the morning, but who cares? We're gonna go inside and check it out and see what it's all about. We walked into Migration Winery and they greeted us with some rosé and it is really light and refreshing. And one thing that we learned about Migration is that they only sell Chardonnays and Pinot Noirs, but I guess they have a rosé that they're offering, which is really cool. If you are more into like other kinds of wines and you may not like this winery, but if you are a total Chardonnay or Pinot Noir person, then you're gonna love this place. Chelsea, yep. you got a flight. What did you end up getting? So I got the Taste of Chardonnay and we have kind of two um, over here that are grapes sourced from other vineyards, more in the Santa Barbara region. And then to the right, these are gonna be owned by the Migration Duck Corn family. So these are gonna be Russian River Valley AVA, which is Sonoma County where I live. And Chardonnay is great because I, I don't drink a ton of it at home, but I like seeing the variety because Chardonnay has that reputation of being like buttery, oaky. But when you have a flight, you can really taste those nuances. So I like that. I got the Pinot Noir flights because I'm more of a red wine person. Chelsea's more of a white wine person. So same thing with Chelsea said. So this side is going to be from like the Russian River area. And then this is going to be from Santa Barbara. So this is from Drum Canyon. So this has like a blueberry flavors with like sage and sweet vanilla. This one is more peppery. And then from one of the first Russian rivers that I had, this is going to be like very fruity with raspberries and plum. This one is basically truffle-like flavor. It's going to be more oaky and earthy, which I'm really excited about this one because I like our earthy flavored Pinot Noir. Oh, I love the spice of that. That's really good. We got a complimentary oh. charcuterie bar, which is really awesome. Yeah, Yay. Options you can buy. Cheese, crackers, their pistachios, and those are raisins and dried fruit. Also, just check out the place of this. This is like the cutest aesthetic. I love that it's shady. I love like the light fixtures and the furniture. Just, this is such a nice, relaxing setup. Next stop is Oxbow Market in downtown Napa. So this place is kind of similar to the Ferry Building in San Francisco. So there's gonna be a lot of food places to try. It's very crowded today, so we're gonna see a lot of people. So let's go inside and check it out and see what it's all about. This is cute. There's like a little market here. Where I got, this is what I got. I got like some avocado tacos and then a milkshake because I need some sugar to wake me up. Because that wine made me a little tired and I need to wake up. Chelsea, what did you get for your meal? I got the Offy Burger, which is like their most famous thing, but I got a lettuce wrap. Oh, Let's okay. Switch it up. Yeah, that looks kind of healthy. And they do lettuce wrap for free. Nice. This is something Chelsea and I wanted to originally do, but we, had our plans fall through but this is basically the wine train station if you have the money for it definitely recommend you should try it out one day i hope to do it but yeah this is basically where you go to load up on the train to do the napa valley wine train i've heard so many good things about it so another great spot that we're currently in right now is yonville which is like 15 to 20 minutes north of napa so it's kind of like a nice bougie little area. You have Restoration Hardware, which is right behind me. You have all the beautiful chandeliers and they even have their own furniture line if you're not familiar with Restoration Hardware. 
Also further down at this street, you have the French Laundry and the French Laundry Gardens. And then you have a cute little bakery called Bouchon Bakery. So I know that's a really popular place and there's usually a line out there because it's so popular. There's a lot of great restaurants and places to eat and drink and just walk around. It's very nice area. Definitely those rich white people vibes, but definitely a really cool place to check out if you're in the area. For our last stop of the day, we're gonna be going to Trefethen Winery. So this is a family owned business and I'm excited. I haven't been here, but this is like one of Chelsea's favorite spots. So I'm excited for her to show it to me. So let's go in and check it out. Chelsea, this is so cute. Like, look at that. It's so authentic. This is our 80s acre okay. Chardonnay, which is a barrel fermented Chardonnay that is aged for 11 months in French oak. Does not go through malolactic conversion or fermentation. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> So this is the dry Riesling. I'm not the biggest white wine person, but this is pretty decent actually. I don't think it's that dry Chelsea. It's unusual because people think Riesling, they think like sweet, syrupy, more dessert, like full body, but mm -hmm. that's really like light and refreshing. Yeah, yeah, this is really refreshing. Breadstick time! <laughs> All right, what do we got now, Greg? Oh, so for you, mm -hmm. I have our estate Chardonnay. All right. So we have two Chardonnays, this one and the Katie's Acre that she had. Okay. They're both made in a similar fashion. Uh, they're barrel fermented in French oak and then aged in oak, no malolactic. So nice, crisp, clean, citrusy, uh, fruit forward Chardonnay. So I have a mystery wine here that uh, you're going to have to figure out what Looks it like is. Looks like a Pinot. Can know. you show me? It's just like... Don't show me. Ooh. What do you think it is, Chelsea? I mean, from the color, just Pinot. You know, <laughs> she knows her oh, wine so well. Like, kind of clear. So I'm going to try the Chardonnay that Greg just poured me. So let's see. I don't know how to hold wine glasses. <laughs> I wonder if there's melon in that. That tastes pretty good. This is. Our Merlot. All right. Our Merlot, by the way, is the Merlot grape is often described as being silky or satiny, mm -hmm. being smooth. I tried a sip of this, and it's so smooth, and it tastes like water. Well, it didn't taste like water, but it, it went down like water. Tell me, what was your favorite part about Napa Valley in this video? Is there a place that you really like in Napa? Comment down below and let me know what it is, so other people can also know about it as well. If you like this video you do give it a thumbs up and with that I will see you in my next video. Bye!